This video will show you how to use a tape diagram to divide whole numbers by fractions. Dave works out for a total of nine hours of a week. Each of his workouts is three-fourths of an hour. How many workouts does Dave complete in a week? If I look at the problem, I see that Dave works out for a total of nine hours a week. And what we need to do is divide that nine hours up into groups that are three-fourths of an hour long. So the problem we're looking at answering is nine divided by three-fourths, and we want to know what that is. I'm going to use a tape diagram to show my answer. Now a tape diagram is similar to a number line, but it uses what we call tapes, which are these rectangles. Each of these rectangles represents a whole. In this case, they represent a whole hour. So this would be one hour, two hours, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all of these rectangles together represent the nine hours that Dave works out. Now we also know in the problem that each of his workouts is three-fourths of an hour. So what I'm going to do using this tape diagram is I'm going to divide each of these hours up into fourths of an hour. I'm going to put four sections inside each hour. That will help me figure out how many three-fourths are inside nine hours. So it takes a little bit of time, but I'm just going to go through and divide each whole hour into fourths. Now I'm not going to worry if they're not perfectly even. I know that fractions are supposed to be even, but this is just a model. So if my spaces aren't totally evenly spaced out, that's okay. Now I'm ready to figure out the answer to this question, and I'm going to do it in two different ways. The first way I'm going to do this is with some shading. I want to know how many groups of three-fourths are in nine hours. So I'm going to take these little boxes, which represent the fourths of an hour. This is a full hour. So if I have one, two, three, that's going to represent one workout. And I'm going to do the same thing, one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. That's the second workout he does. And I'm going to keep grouping these into groups of three-fourths until I run out of fourths. Because what nine divided by three-fourths is saying is really how many groups of three-fourths are inside nine holes. So I'm going to keep shading using different colors, groups of three-fourths, until I get to my nine hours. So this right here is going to be the sixth workout he does. And here will be the seventh workout. And I have one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. This is his eighth workout. One, two, three. That one's hard to see, but it's nine workouts. I'll make the color here down, different color, nine workouts. One, two, three. So that's his tenth workout, almost there. One, two, three. That's his eleventh workout. And lastly, pick a color. One, oh, that's too similar. Here we go. One, two, three. And we can see that it is 12th workout. So 9 divided by 3 fourths equals 12. In the context of this problem, this means that Dave will work out 12 times during the week. Okay? Because each of these sections that I colored in represents one workout, which is 3 fourths of an hour. Let me show you another way we can use a tape diagram that involves a little less work. If you don't have colors, or if you don't want to spend the time coloring it in. Our situation is that Morgan is having a party and she bought six pints of ice cream. Each guest will be served two-thirds of a pint of ice cream. And the question is, how many people can be served ice cream? Okay, so again, let's think about what we know. We know we have six pints of ice cream and we want to divide it up into groups that are two-thirds of a pint. So the question we're asking is how many groups of two-thirds are in six pints? And that's what we don't know. 
So we're going to start off with our tape diagram. Remember, our tape diagram are these rectangles, which represent my whole amount. So I have six rectangles to represent my six pints of ice cream. We're going to start this problem the same way we did the other one, dividing each pint of ice cream into thirds, because I want to know how many groups of two-thirds are in six holes. So I'm going to take each of these tapes and divide them into thirds. Now what I did last time is I colored them in in sections that were two-thirds. So I did like this, and I said that was one group of two-thirds. If you don't want to color, another way to do this is just to number it. Okay, so this is one group of two-thirds. This is a second group of two-thirds. This is another group of two-thirds. This is another group of two-thirds. And I'm switching colors here, but you don't have to, because each of the numbers represents a different group of two-thirds. And again, we'll just keep going until we run out of two-thirds. And at the end, we can see that there are nine groups of two-thirds inside of six holes. So this question was how many people can be served ice cream. The quotient means that nine people can be served two-thirds of a pint of ice cream if you have six whole pints of ice cream to start with.